has already been a year of extreme weather, as you know, and NOAA scientists have issued another prediction about floods, more of them ahead this spring. An estimated 400 people die each year because their cars are trapped in water, and it turns out many of us are doing exactly the wrong thing in that moment. We roll up the windows and hope for an air bubble or call 911. But tonight, ABC's Lisa Stark is going to show you a demonstration of the right thing to do if your car is sinking and the 30 seconds that can save your life. What you're about to hear are actual 911 calls from people in sinking cars. Help me! I got fire department calling. I don't know what to do. My car is sinking. It's my life. It's not my life. It's going down fast. I can't get out. Here's the headline you must remember. You have to get out of the car before it sinks. That means you likely have under a minute to get out. Speed is the key to saving your life. The first 30 to 60 seconds is when you have to get out of that vehicle. That's leading researcher Gordon Giesbrecht, who says it's too late to try to push a door open when the car's underwater. So this Florida dive team shows what can be done. Okay, guys, ready to go. Let's start the clock in real time. A second after hitting the water, seatbelts off, then windows down. Within eight seconds, both front seat passengers are out. Water now rushing in the back seat. Passengers scramble. In some cars like this one, rear windows won't roll down all the way. The escape is out the front. Everyone is safe, all in under 20 seconds. Everybody's clear. Here again, in slow motion, Jeff, who was in the back seat. It was uh, very intimidating. The car went down quicker than I thought it would. I had a real inflow of water that I had to work against to get out, but it can be done. Point is, everybody knew what they were supposed to do. Get your seatbelt off, open the window, period, and then get out. It's simple, but crucial. And what about kids? Same scenario here with test dummies. Again, seat belts off, windows open. Unstrap the oldest child first, the youngest last. That's your best chance of getting the children out safely. They got out this window in 21 seconds. And if you can't get the window down, you'll need a backup, an inexpensive window break tool. All right, take a look when I gave it a try. You don't have to be strong, anyone can do it. Giesbrecht's tests are leading to a sea change. Starting next month, 911 operators will tell anyone in a sinking car, get out, now. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Naples, Florida. And again, Lisa wants us to emphasize they are changing the 911 instructions. And please remember, do not rely on an air bubble. Don't call 911. Don't hesitate. Just get up and out, and it could make the difference between life and death. And by the way, this is one of the tools you use to break a window, and it costs less than $10. And coming up next here, do you remember what the King of Pop did 30